So my name is David Almoslino. Um, I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications here at InventSense. And what you're looking at is a host of different products which InventSense is in. InventSense produces uh, motion sensors, uh, specifically MEMS, and we produce uh, devices which are in um, many of the current Android devices today. Uh, this includes, as you've seen, uh, the Nexus uh, Google devices from LG, also Motorola, even something uh, like the new Leno IdeaPad Yoga. Uh, so you do like accelerators, the gyro, what is it? That is correct. So we make motion sensors, uh, we make a gyroscope, which is what we're most famous for, but we also make a six axis combo gyroscope and accelerometer. And on top of that, we've recently announced a nine-axis device, which is a gyroscope, accelerometer, and compass combo. Nice. Can we check out how they look? Sure. That's a nice one. So, as you can see, besides just smartphones and tablets, we're also into the Nintendo Wii. So you we're, were the you enabled this. We enabled the uh, you know for those of you who have actually ever used a uh, Nintendo Wii, the ability for it to manage motion is done by us, correct. So you did the accelerometer and the initial Wii? Or Not you the, only did the gyroscope The gyroscope version. version, correct. So that's the second Wii mode, kind of. That is correct. So, as soon as they got a gyro, you, you enabled it. That is correct. Into, and we've had a long partnership with Nintendo, both with their Motion Plus, then their Wii Remote Plus, the 3DS, and now most recently the Wii U. Similarly, we're also into other smart type devices like LG's Magic Motion for smart TVs, the Roku 2X Remote. Um, and then what's really kind of unique is uh, this, uh, what you're looking at right here is the Black & Decker Gyro, which recently won Time Magazine's uh, in one of their inventions of the year. So it's a screwdriver. You literally twist your wrist to the right, it screws on. You twist your wrist to the left, and it screws off. As you can see, a little here, a different product selector, we use different um, evaluation boards which we allow developers to then create uh, their own individual products to launch out to the market. So, you basically integrate with Qualcomm stuff, NVIDIA, Intel? So we, we work with ecosystem partners so that we can have our systems work within their boards and their systems to complement them as they move out onto uh, their cycle out into design wins. So it goes, it goes onto the, on, inside the system, it goes onto the PCB, onto the... That is correct. Different, uh, they have different types of solutions that can be used. So for example, you're looking at uh, an OIS camera module. We'll work with the individual OIS camera module manufacturers to include our solution onto the module. The module is then sold into the uh, different smartphone and tablet manufacturers, for example. All right. So uh, there was this Panasonic camera, and there's a new LG camera, uh, the new uh, HTC. New HTC camera. So HTC just announced their X1. Um, they're using a gyroscope onto it, and it's a two-axis gyroscope that helps manage uh, jitter. So when today's uh, technology, the phones are, and the cameras becoming much more higher resolution, uh, people are holding these up and getting, whether they're using still or video, jitter. The OIS, the optical image stabilization, controls that jitter and smooths out either the video or makes a crystal picture. All right. So... Uh... Uh, these are the wafers that come out. Where, where are they made? So we are actually a fabulous company, and we use partners, uh, Global Foundry and TSMC, to help develop our uh, fabrics. So they they fabricated for you. That is correct. And they, uh, how many did you sell? Oh, I can't say that. Uh, I will say that we are the uh, world's number one consumer uh, for the consumer market development of MEMS. And that's uh, gyro, but. Also but Gyro, one in yeah. gyro. So the That's first generation really was gyroscopes, right? Second generation um, is a gyroscope accelerator combo, adds more precision, etc. And then uh, the next generation is the nine axis, which is that, as I mentioned, the uh, gyro excel and compass combination. So is that fusion? 
the, the sensor So the itself. sensor fusion actually works together to make those work cohesively together. What's really interesting is we actually have a demo that is a health uh, and sports and fitness watch. And in that watch, it actually can... Oh, we did? With our local Japan uh, The watch itself can work so that it's all of our nine axis, but also it'll have a heading UV index, humidity, light, temperature, and pressure sensor all working together. So is it uh, right now showing results somewhere? It is. Somebody's got the watch on. Okay. Which, uh... It's not this one. No, no. Okay. Some... Which is uh, reporting right here. You a direct contact. Who's uh, got the watch? Tanya does, right? So... Uh, Tanya. So it's uh, reporting direct right here, right here. And, uh, that's not it, sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. Tanya has the watch on, so I'm trying to get Tanya over here. I apologize. No, she's she just has to take the watch off. So go ahead and give a quick demo. Well, what you're looking at is a solution that's a nine axis solution. You didn't even want to do the So the movement that he tracks right now on his wrist is being tracked actually through the tablet and just being shown up on the screen. That's so awesome. Yeah. So, now. is it Bluetooth? Yeah, it's Bluetooth and MIDI and the other things. Yeah, that's the most So, Bluetooth and what? Uh, this, uh, they will use a module which has both Bluetooth and Bluetooth Low Energy. Bluetooth and, uh, so Bluetooth 4.0? Yes. All right. Cool. Is this uh, going to be in the market? Uh, this is a demo development kit, so it's mostly for developers. Is it more precise or better than uh, Fitbit and all that stuff? And all these uh, watches that people have? Fitbit, all these watches would be our customers. So as long as uh, they use our sensors or... They will uh, be more precise? It will be the best way to measure movements and all that? Uh, with gyroscope, the movement measurement would be a lot easier. Right. So what are you showing here? So this showing that I'm standing here. Actually, I'm standing. Uh, so once I start walking, like uh, if you see my movement, I start walking on the on the left. There's a confidence level which decreases, and it soon pick up that I'm walking. So the same thing if I go do something like a swimming action. Uh, we trained it uh, to recognize this as swimming, so you can train it to recognize anything as swimming or any activity you want. Then it goes and says I'm swimming. Uh, now if I do start doing swinging action. So it will soon pick up this as, hey, you're swinging. So it's a swinging. So it could detect any activities what you perform, uh, basically. And with better activity recognition, you have perfect calorie burn rate that one can estimate. Nice. That's very cool.